Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benny Zemakwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, knowing me, knowing you. <laughs> I was just reading through the Bible, you know, I mean, I've, I've had some very interesting experiences, you know. And uh, I remember one time I was, I was traveling and then I asked my wife um, to, listen, do you need anything that I could... I could get for you. And then she said, oh, nothing really. Then I said, oh, is there anything specific you want? She said, oh, no, no, I don't need anything. You don't want me to buy anything for you? She said, no, no, I don't really need anything. So I, I, I said, oh, wow. But you know, when I, when, I, when I traveled, I'm looking, I said, well, this woman says she doesn't need anything. But you know what? Uh, should I get this? Or should I get that? Okay, I'm not, okay, let me get it too. And should I get this? And should I get that? Should I get this? You know, because I wasn't sure what she wanted. And so I said, well, I mean, so I was just working with guesswork and all the things. And when I arrived home, I mean, after my travel, and when I arrived home, and then I said to her, you know what? I, because you said you didn't want anything, I, I didn't get anything. I hope you don't mind. And then she quietly said, oh, it's okay. But I realized that the voice, the voice dropped. Not that she wanted anything desperately, but the way she said it, it's okay. Then I opened the suit, I said, all these days, she said, oh, they are all for me? And she beamed up and all that, they're all for me? And I, I said, yeah, they are all for you. And then, then I said, ah, but you told me you didn't want anything. Then he said, eh, but if I said I didn't want anything, you yourself, you should know. You should know yourself that I, you should get me something. And I'm like, oh, wow. That was a very good lesson, <laughs> you know. That was a very good lesson. And I realized that, I mean, she was saying this, but she might have meant that. You know, sometimes they will say this, but they really meant that. So I, I mean, learning uh, this, and then I was reading scriptures, then I chanced upon uh, an, an exhortation Peter gave to us. He says, likewise ye husbands, dwell with your wives according to knowledge. That means dwell with your wives, wives with intelligence, Dwell with your wives with information. Dwell with your wives as students. That means dwell with your wives as perpetual students. That means ever learning. You know, so sometimes, at certain times, this thing, they get moody, they don't want to talk to you get it, and, or they might get snappy, or whatever it is. Mm. And you know, our world is different. As men, our world is different. And so our world is, is trying to figure things out, you know, mathematical blocks, we're thinking blocks, and you know, they're much more fluid. And the Bible says, dwell with your wives according to knowledge. You know what the Bible was saying? You need to be a student of your wife. And you're learning, you see, not, not necessarily, she's sitting you down with school and saying, this is A, B, and C. No. But you're learning. How do we learn? We learn by watching. We learn by reading. We learn by being taught. You know, and one of the things in which you, you get information is by watching. And then storing the, the, the information that you have and then applying that information in a knowledgeable way in the future. And that's one of the things that, likewise ye husbands, dwell with your wives according to knowledge. So here's a principle. We dwell with them with information received, information processed, and information acted upon. So information received, information processed, and information acted upon. That's how we, we dwell with them. And the Bible says, that's who we are. We husbands, it is, it are, it are sentenced. Peter sentenced them all to it. He sentenced them all to it and says, now this is what, how you should do it. Oh boy. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> Man, I've, I've made some pretty daft mistakes because I wasn't learning. Well, you know, I'm wiser, so I'm learning. I guess you also have a choice. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with your wives according to information received information processed and information applied. Dwell with your wives according to knowledge. Well, the choice is yours because if you don't, mm, I don't know, maybe it will be rosy and they will live happily ever after. 
for the rest of their life. The choice is yours. See you later.